Hey guys, how you doing? Gavin Timms with REI Network. Welcome back. On this episode, I've got someone really awesome joining me. And this is unique. This is something that I've not really heard about before, someone doing. And, and I talk a lot about you know how to monetize your dead leads. And that's normally through creative finance, okay, including you know lease options and things like that. Um, but my guest today is doing things a little different, and I'm super excited. Uh, to, to, to share everything or for him to share everything with us. Um, I've known him for a couple of years now. We're in Masterminds together. Great guy, massive go-giver and go-getter. So here he is. Let me bring him over. I am with Chris Craddock. Chris, how are you? I'm great. Glad to be here with you, brother. It's so fun to be, uh, be on a podcast with you. Yeah, I appreciate you coming on and uh, I'm excited because, you know, we teach a, a lot and do a lot of creative deals um, and we teach a lot on lease options. And, and again, one of our kind of things is, is that is to monetize your dead leads, right? Um, there's no such thing as a dead lead unless it's just sold or someone's like threatening to kill you or something. And even then it's just a time thing. Um, so uh, it's pretty interesting. Um, before we jump into the strategy that you're getting not only great results in your business and for other people, but let's talk about you a little bit. I mean, this is the first time you've been on with me on this show. So tell us, tell us a little about Chris, like give us a background, a few minutes on kind of how you got into the game, what are you doing, and then we'll build into it. Yeah, so I, I got into real estate um, in 2000. I graduated from college. My wife got pregnant in 2003. I was on staff with an organization called Young Life where I loved it, but I made like $20,000 a year. So it's hard to live on that. And so I started flipping houses in the early 2000s, made 12 times what I made in a year and uh, was able to kind of live on that. You know, I always led large teams in uh, in in ministry. And so I continued doing ministry and um, I guess with, you know, I just kept having more and more kids. And as I uh, end up having six kids, the money runs out real fast. <laughs> and so, uh, um, so I started flipping houses again in like 2011, I believe. During that time, I'd gone back to school. I'd gotten a doctorate in leadership again, because I love team building, right? I love helping other people succeed. And uh, started flipping at that time, it was short sales. Um, and so I got a real estate license because the bank was paying a commission. If you if you flipped a short sale, if you bought a short sale, they'd pay a commission. And if you didn't have a license, they wouldn't pay it. So I got a real estate license. And during that time, um, somebody had given me a book, uh, Gary Keller's book, The Millionaire Real Estate Agent. And I read it. And because I love large teams, I was like, man, I see how I could get to a net of seven figures pretty simply, pretty, not easily, but, but a simple path. Um, through retail. And so we started running that business and, you know, we were really tracking to do really well. We, I mean, we got to that number, but, um, about halfway through between starting and where we are now, I realized that investors were doing their thing and agents were doing their thing. And I'd lived in both worlds. And I was like, man, there is so much money on the table if we just bring them together. And, uh, so that's, that's where it is now. It's allowed me to, Personally, I I'm able to live a life of freedom. You know, I know Gavin, you're my my RV friend that travels around the world and like you know all around the country has freedom here. For me, I'm at our lake house, so I'm enjoying this like awesome, awesome view and able to hang with the kids and everything else. Uh, you know, when I'm not working here, so it's just been it's just been an awesome, awesome journey. So fun and uh, yeah, being able to meet and hang out with great friends like you along the way. No, that's amazing. No, that's great. And, and it is what it's all about, right? You've got a lot of kids, a lot and a lot of kids. Um, but it's good because you get, again, you're at the lake house. That's where I'm heading as I'm recording this. I'm out to Michigan. We're leaving the RV. We're going up to the lake house and then up to the UP. We're going to be gone for about a month to five weeks. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I get it. And uh, and that's what life's all about. And and I guess then these strategies that you're doing, you know, you've made a lot of money on, on the real estate side um, as a broker. Um, you're in DC, right? That's kind of your, that's where you're located normally. Yeah. DC, Virginia, Maryland is kind of where my, my team resides. And then I've got a, an expansion team in Baltimore and an expansion team in Richmond, Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And I've got, I've got uh, nine other businesses that all are synergistic to my, uh, to my retail team as well, you know, fix and flip. Uh, I got a rental portfolio, title, mortgage, insurance, construction, uh, legal. Like there's all these different businesses that are all kind of synergistic to that as well. 
yeah yeah smart you to yeah utilizing all the arms of real estate right um to, yeah. to bring back into your own business so that's great um okay so i think you know I was, we, we spoke for just a, a quick minute before we jumped on here um but i think you know one of the, the main things is uh, or what i think i'm calling this episode right is um how to make money by partnering with realtors so tell us how you're monetizing these deadlies what does that look like what are you doing uh just educate people listening to to take some to give them some takeaways on on how how this works yeah absolutely so um so i talked to friend after friend after friend actually a friend of ours uh who is in a mastermind together with us he lives up in michigan does about 40 wholesale deals a month and we were we were at a, a meetup in the back of an uber and we were just talking and he was like man it's crazy so you're you're really monetizing these leads at a high level he's like i send 20 30 40 leads to realtors every month and he's like i'm more shocked when i get a referral fee a referral payment than when i don't he's like he's like i never get paid on those things it's like never and so i talked to so many friends that they just don't make any money on that because they've tried it. It's just not working well. Actually, the group that I kind of built this um, this program with was, um, you know, they they had been trying it for years and years. They started their own brokerage. They did all of these different pieces, all these different things, and they just kept losing money on it. And so uh, then, I mean, I just like the crazy thing was I'm like, I know I can monetize these leads. I came from this world. And so it was funny. I, I believe persistence breaks resistance, right? So I called them over and over and over again. I'm like, just send me some of those dead leads that you're not doing anything with. And they're like, we got a girl. She's a top KW agent. Like we sent her a thousand leads and she's closed like six of them in the last six months. He's like, it's just not worth our time. And I'm like, well then send me some, let's, let's work it. So finally they sent me 150 leads. 70 of them had been closed with somebody else, 30 of them were out of area. So I had about 40 leads that were, uh, that was left from there. And I'm like, well, if this other girl did out of a thousand close six deals and sent referral fees, I got to close six with these 40. So I did everything I could to build it, to build it out where the sellers wanted to work with me. And so I kind of created a system. I closed six, I called them up and, and they're like, wait, you closed six? Like, Chris, we liked you. We didn't want to just tell you to leave us alone. So I, I told the guy, I was like, hey, give him, give him 150 leads from like five years ago so that he'll stop bugging us. <laughs> and he's That's like, amazing. That's six deals from five years old. And so I was like, yeah. And so so then since then, we built this out to a, uh, a system. And that, that group alone, I mean, literally, we're, we're paying them to send them about three quarters of a million bucks this year. So it's, it's crazy. Wow. For leads that they've just been throwing away three quarters of a million bucks. I don't care how big your organization is. That's a year changer. <laughs> yeah. And what's your criteria then if, if literally it didn't fit a wholesale deal? So are you talking as you, as you talk to us uh, as, as, as marketers, are you saying this is like what you're doing is, um, with wholesalers, right? So if I was just a wholesaler doing cash deals, right? That's what I'm marketing for. And then I get sellers that want more money or they're, you know, they owe too much money or whatever. They're the kind of leads that you're working. Absolutely. So, so here's the deal. Let's say you send out, let, let's just say direct mail just for ease sake, right? You send out a ton of direct mail. You get 20 people that raise their hand and say, I, I will sell, right? Of the 20 people that raise their hand, 16 of them probably want somewhere between 97 and, and 105% on the dollar, right? And then there's four of them that will say, okay, I'll sell for 65 to 75, 80 cents on the dollar, whatever your wholesale number is. So there's four in there. And of the four, you're probably going to lock up one, right? That That's at least the numbers that I'm ballpark seeing with, with people across the country, right? You get 20 people, you get a you get about a deal and so so with that what happens with the other 19 somebody is going to get paid on that another real estate agent some investor that's going to pay way more than you're paying somebody's getting paid it's just not you right so that's why this whole upside down wholesaling just makes so much sense because you no longer have to do anything you realize that it's not in your buy box you realize that they want to sell but you're not going to be able to do it you just you're just able to get that agent and again picking the right agent is so important that you've partnered with and you set that appointment for that agent that agent just goes out and man they close it up you get your referral fee and everybody wins the agent makes a lot of money and they do well because for an agent a retail business 
listings are so powerful for a, um, you know, for an investor. I mean, that's just money that's sitting there dead. Like I told you, there's 60 grand a month that is going to that one group that literally was sitting there dead. I've got new wholesalers that they're making more money on this than they are in their wholesaling business. So it's just like, you've got found money there that just increases your margin. How does that change a business if all of a sudden you've got an extra five or 10K a month that you can spend on marketing? It's crazy. Yeah, no, that's huge. So what makes it different in terms of, and you don't have to go into like the nitty gritty, but what makes it different? Because you just said, you know, when you were doing this and, and someone was sending these leads to a top agent and it took a thousand, they got six closed and you were, you were able to do six out of 150 given to you. So is that though your work ethic or is that something that you are seeing different to what that other agent would be doing just as a, the way, are you going about it in a different way? Like what would the difference be? So someone's listening going, well, it's all down to the agent. You're saying it is obviously because it's your agent's critical, but there must be more to it than that. Yeah. So you, picking the right agent is huge. And then finding the right scripting is also huge. And so for me, um, and, and I'm happy to share a bunch of this stuff with you, but that's why I created this program. So for me personally, I don't, I put my money where my mouth is, right? I spend, I spend over a hundred thousand dollars a year on personal development because I believe paying for speed. If somebody knows the path, um, there's so much money to be made here that it's it's worth telling somebody, hey, step here, do this, use this script, because every month that you don't, you leave you leave tens of thousands of dollars on the table. So that's the whole deal. So for me, I'll uh, I'll jump in, and, and I'm happy to share you know share everything as as much as as much as I can. I know we've only got a couple minutes here, but um, I'm happy to share as much as I can um, because I do know that there's just there's just so much to it that if you do it right. There's so much money to be made. Well, here's the deal. One, you pick the right agent, right? And what is it, what is it you're looking for in an agent? Somebody that's happy, hungry, humble, and smart, right? If they're not happy, they're going to be mad because you're asking for a big referral fee in a, in a matter of time. If they're not hungry, they're going to work. You said work ethic. That's a that's a huge thing. If they're, you know, if they do well, you do well. You're you're literally attaching your ship to theirs. And if they close a hundred deals you're going to make a fortune. If they close one deal, you're going to make no money. So you got to find somebody that is hungry. Actually, um, there's a friend of, of both of ours who had an agent who was like one of his like best buds who got licensed. And he's like, oh, this guy's going to make a fortune. I'm, I'm going to do this program with this guy. And I'm like, what did he do last year? And he's like, well, he decided to take a year off because of COVID. And I was like, that doesn't sound like he's going to be hungry, man. I, I don't see a, a world in which I take a year off. Like it just doesn't make sense. Even yeah. when I'm working hard. Like I'm, yeah. you know, I really, really enjoy working, you know, even when I water break, I, I like working. So if they're not hungry, they're not going to be your guy or girl. Um, hum hungry, humble, uh, happy, hungry, humble. You know, here's the other thing. A lot of times people confuse um, confidence with humility, right? You need somebody that's massively confident. One of my favorite books is The Way of the Wolf. I don't know that I love Jordan Belfort as far as like what he did as a human. You know, you watch The Way of the Wolf and you're like, ah, I don't know that that's what I want, but he's a darn good salesperson. I'll tell you that much. And uh, and he talks about like the straight line selling and that certainty scale. Like when when somebody's confident, they they're certain, but but there's that doesn't mean just because you're confident you're not humble, right? So for me, I literally put my myself at the feet of so many coaches. I, I again, I spend so much money on coaches and mentors and masterminds because I want to learn from people, right? Gavin, the first interaction you and I had was, uh, you know, uh, our friend Chris Arnold uh, said, "Hey, you should talk to Gavin. He does, uh, you know, virtual wholesaling, and he's really uh, like really really good at that. And you should just talk to him and, and see what he's all about." And I was like, "Man." Sounds awesome. He talked you up like crazy. And uh, so I still remember giving you a call. I was on 66 and massive traffic. And I was yeah, like, I do remember. Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, we just started talking and, and I was just picking your brain on what you do and, and how you do it. And I was like, man, yeah, Gavin's a smart dude. I'm glad, uh, glad I can call him my friend now. And so yeah. like, are, are people humble enough to like, to call, call people and just say, Hey, what are you all about? How can I learn from you? How can I do this better? And then smart is one is being smart there, but two is also being a quick learner. One of my favorite books is called The Art of Learning. And the whole idea is if you can learn fast, 
then you can be world class, right? So uh, Tony Robbins refers to it as compressing decades into days, right? Who can show you the path to move faster? And then uh, Keith Cunningham, who was the rich dad and rich dad, poor dad, um, wrote a book called The Road Less Stupid. So that whole idea is like, we don't want to pay the stupid tax, right? Let's learn from other people. Let's learn from ourselves and not make the same mistakes over and over again because yeah. it costs us a lot of money. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I can't agree with you more, uh, especially, you know, with the coaching, the education. Uh, and it doesn't matter what level you're at. If you're not being mentored by people, then your ego's in the way because there's always growth. There's always some someone out there that knows more than you in certain areas. Um, and uh, I mean, we even had conversations, you know, uh, a, a year or two back. I don't know if you remember this regarding listings, right, from flips. And you were telling me little tactics of, you know, say, hey, we're doing, we're doing, you know, we're going to make a decision on Monday, taking the top three, and then going back saying, is this your final and best? You've made it to the top three. And all of a sudden, you can get a spurt of five, 10 grand more just immediately. And that's what now we implement, right? So I'm not on the retail side, I'm not licensed. So I don't see that. I don't know really how it all works. And, uh, you know, them little things. And that's why we're in masterminds. That's why we have coaches. That's why we uh, we network uh, with the people that we network with is because we're always learning. Right. And I, I'm like you. I, I want to go. And obviously, when I go into a mastermind or into an event, I obviously I'm there to give as much as I can. But also then it always comes back to you and you're always going to pick up a couple of nuggets um, you know, that, that you need. So I think coaching is huge and, and that cutting that time down is, is, is massive. And can I, here's something that's so crazy. Like, uh, you know, I shared with you just kind of our best practices to make more money. Um, just before that, I had shared that with, uh, with another guy who was, you know, anyway, somebody had introduced us and I was like, Hey, you know, you really should implement this negotiating system. And he's like, yeah, no, we got it down. And I, I asked him what he does and he, I know he's losing tons yeah. of money. And I was just yeah. like, I was like, man, why wouldn't you like, why wouldn't, I mean, there's just not a yeah. world in which I talk to people and, and they don't, they have something great to say. And I'm not like trying to learn how to be better. And so yeah. and that, I think that's one of the reasons why you and I are buds because, you know, we're both trying to constantly get better. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and everyone should be listening to this. Right. And and people say to, there's more one. There's more than one way to invest. There's more than one way to market. There's more than one way to, to to run a business or have a conversation in the words in the way that you position yourself and present yourself and in terms of being at the closing. And it comes down to opinions and and personalities. Um, but you're exactly right. If you can tweak off people, you're only going to grow. You can't get worse. Right. Can't get any worse. It can only get better. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's really good. So, uh, you know, with, with this then. So obviously, you, you know, the right agent, uh, obviously the scripts that you use um, and, and, and get in that, you know, communication. And you've been seeing in your business, like you said, about a quarter of a million you're going to be giving to one person. Is that right? Is that what you said? Oh, no, this this one person in my personal business, three quarters of a million bucks. Three quarters. Wow. Crazy number. And that's, that's insane. They're not really doing much that's different, like almost at all. It takes so little change. They're really not doing much that's different. Um, and they're just monetizing uh, these leads that have been sitting there dead in their database and making three quarters of a million dollars more. Like it's just, it's crazy how much people, how much money people are leaving on the table and they don't even know it. That's the nutty. Yeah. No, that's that, that's amazing. So, um, okay, so you so you're doing that, and then with your your businesses that we talked about, or you were mentioning at the start, um, I know people are gonna. I'm asking this for two reasons. One, it's selfish reason. <laughs> that's why I like doing these. And two, I know other people are gonna be, uh, you know, asking the same thing. Obviously, you have arms of the business, right? And, and this is just one. Now you're teaching people how to do this strategy. Um, and these other arms, how are you doing that? Do you have like a uh, someone that's running all businesses? Do you have like one person running each business? Are you taking the partnership route? Like how does that kind of look? Yeah, so I chose to go the partnership route. I So I was, I used to be with Keller Williams. Um, I, I still think Gary Keller I think Gary Keller and the Zillow people are probably two of the smartest people in the whole industry, right? Like out of, 
everywhere. Um, and one of the things, you know, I was, I was personally mentored by Gary for a while. And, uh, and one of the things that he said was you can have as many businesses as you want, as long as each business has, has a manila folder, right? And on that folder is everything with the business. And there's somebody's face on the front of that folder that owns that business. And that yeah. face cannot be your face, right? Yeah. And so, so that's that whole idea. So each of my businesses has a face that's not my face. And so, yeah. um, except my retail business, that 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 is still my face. And I'm working very, very hard. Um, I've made some key hires to put other faces in there um, that's not my face. So, um, you know, that's really, really the key there. And that's, that's how we've really grown the other businesses. Wow. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I mean, that's again my model. So um, I, I know that I'm on track because because I do the same thing. Um, because the more more people you have, if you don't have partners that own it, um, then then you're getting busier, right? And you're not at the lake, right? If you were running nine businesses, you're not at the lake. Um, I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You sleep at the office if you're running nine businesses. Um, right. Okay, no, that's awesome. So. Um, how do people then um, get in touch with you? How do they follow you? Yeah, so if you're interested in the uh, in the Revive program, you can just go to wholesalinginc.com forward slash revive, um, and we can dive in and see whether your uh, whether your business is a good fit for this. Um, that's that's one of the easiest ways. Um, if you want to personally get in touch with me. Um, this is one thing that I still do. I haven't outsourced to a VA. I, I may at some point. So uh, if you watch this this uh, three years down the road, you may not get me. But but for now, I'm, I'm trying to give back the way people gave to me. And so I personally mm -hmm. am answering any DMs on Instagram. So my, my Instagram handle is at crad, C-R-A-D-D-R-O-C-K, at crad rock, an old high school nickname, cheesy. And, uh, you know, I probably should have changed it a long time ago, but it is what it it's is. It's you. So. It's you. So uh, come on, baby. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So at Crowd Rock, I, I'll, I'll work hard to reply to any uh, DM. Um, but yeah, if you go to the wholesalinginc.com forward slash revive, um, you know, either me or somebody from our team will dive in and see if, if it's your business is a good fit. But I'll tell you, I think if, if you are bringing in leads and you're not monetizing those leads at a high level, I think it's a good fit. And I'll tell you, if you're like a lot of people I've talked to, everybody's like, oh, I can just figure this out. You probably can, but if it takes you four years to get where you could get next month, then like you're costing yourself tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. And the question I ask myself, the reason why I pay six figures a year in education, Gavin, I'm curious, what would you, if you could take everything you know now, put it in a pill and give it to yourself six years ago, how much would you pay for that pill so that you could basically know everything you know today six years ago what what yeah, would that I mean, be worth i don't you? think you could put an amount on it because it'd be <laughs> stupid <laughs> yeah. it really would it'd somebody, be uh, a big amount somebody said would, would you pay a million dollars it was like yeah in a heartbeat i was like yeah. Two? probably yeah Three? maybe five i don't yeah. know it's, it's no you're right no yeah but i think that comes down to though um again i come from a coaching background so you know, I, I, I've all, when I got into the business and, and I, I talk about this and, and people that do follow me know this is that I'm not the person that's bought the courses. I'm not the person that read all the books. Right. I'm the guy that just went straight into coaching. Just learn the right way. Uh, that's that's just me, though, because I'm all about taking massive action, shorting the learning curve. If I can get there faster by someone that's already doing it. Sign me up. I'm ready to go. And then and then people will develop. Right. And uh uh, as they go through their journey and you've, you've always got changing mentors you're already at, always adding mentors as you go and and go through your career and grow um so yeah so that's really good so guys make sure you go and check that out go and follow chris dm if you have any any questions on this and uh, you know it was really unique because uh it, it's kind of a catch line no no dead lead left behind you know that's what we talk about that's kind of our phrase and no dead leads left behind and, and you're doing the same thing but in a different way by utilizing realtors as wholesalers you're already spending the money so if you can get key a uh, key agent in place and obviously there's more to it than that you know with the right scripts um for, for them to be giving you referrals then obviously you might be able to turn an extra ten thousand a month hundred thousand a year 
200 300 400 500 plus thousand a year depending on how many uh, how many you can be sending over to the right person and it's just like anything else you're only as good as your team that's not just on a realtor that's anyone in your whole team from vas it doesn't matter you're only as good as your team um so no really really good uh chris one last question what would you tell and you asked me this but i want to ask you for anyone listening any new people uh anyone that is you know stuck um what would you tell yourself or tell someone now someone new or someone that's stuck what would your advice be to them if you're stuck your business grows to the extent you grow right so it means that you're stuck because you need new information but more than new information i would say a new relationship in your life and so for me when i feel stuck i join a new mastermind i do something where i get people that are really smart around me so that I can learn from other people that are really smart people. I like their vibe, people that I, I think are just really massively, massively good at what they do. And so I, I work hard to get new relationships in my life because that is the number one key. Um, they say, you know, imitate then innovate, right? Get people that you really think are really smart so that you can do what they're doing and then learn to think like they think. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So basically what you're saying, I called this business REI Network for a reason. Networking is what it's all about. Get yourself around like-minded people. You don't, and, and this is, I'm going to put it, I don't know how much to put it. You can't listen to broke people, right? And that's not me disrespecting, but you never take advice of a broke person, okay? You need to take advice of people that are winners, that are positive, that want better, that are trying to do better, not listening to your neighbor that stuck a bandit sign out and couldn't do a deal right and 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 it doesn't work so there we are so chris i appreciate you thank you so much for joining me and uh you know giving us some gold here um and guys if you are interested in working with me okay go to reinetwork.com slash join reinetwork.com slash join we'll get on the phone see if you're a good fit for what's going on or i can see if i can point you in the right direction uh, and any help that you need so chris thank you so much bud and i will see you soon give him in thanks bud bye-bye